Hi listeners, welcome to your daily cup of coffee with Charu. Where hopefully with a hot cup of coffee we discuss how to tackle the day and the week ahead based on the astrological aspects that are dominating the sky. Yesterday I briefed you on the Mars Neptune square that's dominating the sky this week and it's happening at the point where the solar eclipse of 10th of June will bring about a new beginning. We all have been discussing solar eclipses bring about fated changes. The changes that would normally take years and years to happen, solar eclipses bring about that all of a sudden. But there is a build up to the solar eclipse and this aspect is very much part of a build up to the solar eclipse of 10th of June in Gemini and Mars is right now standing at the very degrees where that eclipse is about to happen. Today after a brief introduction we are going to dig into your specific zodiac sign and see how this impacts you. You can catch me on YouTube as well as across the podcast platforms Anchor Spotify. I will leave the links in description for you so you can access this episode also through the podcast platforms. My name is Charu and I'm your host on this journey. So let's dig in. As I mentioned in my post and podcast yesterday, Mars square Neptune will become exact on 9th of April and it would be felt most of this week. Mars is our drive and Neptune tends to slow it down. But there is a hindrance for a more effective and inspired action that this aspect is trying to highlight to us before we go blazing into the eclipse season with a faded shift in our life. The 10th June eclipse would be starting a new chapter at the point where this aspect is happening right now. So understanding this aspect and the dissonance that it is creating this week, the purpose behind that dissonance is very important for you to have the right kind of beginning on 10th of June solar eclipse. North Node or Rahu has already visited and activated this eclipse in January of 2021. We have already experienced the activation of this new beginning, whether we are aware of it or not. Some of the things might be happening behind the scene and we may not be fully aware of. They will fully come out and the physical manifestation of it will fully come out to light during the June eclipses. But the activation of the eclipse already began in January of 2021. Mars right now standing at that very point in Gemini dares us to do the right thing before we enter the physical manifestation phase of that period of that eclipse. With Neptune, Mars is trying to put the inspiration behind our action, the right inspiration behind the actions that we're going to take, a collective goal, some faith behind our actions and making sure that we're going after something with the right purpose behind it. Sometimes we reach where we thought we wanted to go only to realize later on that is not the destination we truly wanted to get to and Neptune is trying to make sure that we understand that what we are going after is truly our purpose, truly our desire. Neptune dissolves social, political, religious and personal boundaries as well that block our collective growth. And they block the birth of a new societal ideal. So Neptune is trying to dissolve all of those hindrances and those boundaries that block that birth within ourselves as well. It teaches us to have faith in the unknown. So if we are trying to take the practical route, the easy route. Neptune is going to try to stop us in the tracks. It teaches us to have faith in the unknown, to aim higher, aim for a higher purpose, higher road. It teaches us to love unconditionally, allow the barriers to disintegrate and act out of a place of pure inspiration to contribute to the society versus for ego gratification or for fitting in into the society and our surrounding. It undermines the success 
which comes without service to the collective and without service to your own soul it is trying to keep you honest to your own soul's purpose nothing is done fully for altruistic purposes but neptune demands that our motivations aren't inspired by pure ego boost or societal pressure a very creative aspect is currently happening and it makes us sensitive to both our soul's purpose as well as to the collective need and styles so what we create is made out of pure love it is made from a place of wanting to channel our soul and there is an element of self transcendence over here where we don't necessarily keep ourselves and our ego gratification as the front of what we are trying to do what we hold at the front of our mind when we are going after something when neptune is aspecting it is a higher purpose and that is bound to touch others on a deeper in a deeper way and it will serve the collective in a much much more meaningful way so let's put some meat on the bones now by looking at your sign and as usual check your rising sign that is the key indicator and if you're able to check the sun and the moon sign for a fuller picture but rising sign would be the key indicator for how this aspect is playing out for you so let's dig in Hi Aries for you the aspect right now which is Mars currently in Gemini and the 10th of June new beginning is happening in the part of your chart which dominates media marketing business commercial negotiation of contract mental skills talent writing speaking self made wealth commercial activity way of speaking how we make social contact how we interact our skills that we use that, that help us make a commercial impact on others our associations how we associate with others we would be looking at making an impact and a new beginning in the house of communication in the house of commercial skills in the house of self made wealth in the house of commercial activity in the house of way of speaking communicating dealing with others selling to others teaching skills um in in the month of june and that new beginning is being worked on by your ruler mars your ruler in the house of mind is activating multiple commercial ideas and sale or communication link projects right now it might be very tough to relax when that happens and no discussion feels ordinary every opportunity feels like it has some substance behind it but there seems to be too many options too many too much scattered energy right now with the eclipse coming up in june you're looking to put full force into one of those projects and begin a new commercial reality for you which leverages your brilliant mind which leverages your communication skills this is the time you must be laying down the groundwork for that new start either writing putting a contract together thinking how to commercialize it how to advertise it how to embellish it more with your creative talent or maybe Maybe even working on acquiring few skills that can help you make it more lucrative and impactful. You already know your options. December and January, when the activation of the eclipse happened, it has shown you few of your options. But there is some unseen fear, a boogeyman hiding, screaming in the night when it's just you. What all can go wrong? That thought. What all can go wrong? that keeps coming back in your mind that stops all the thinking creative thinking because when you have that kind of a thought process behind your mind that stops and blocks the positive and the creative thinking in the tracks it makes your ruling planet mars your courage weak and your action weak as well without courage without that indomitable self assurance that aries are so well known for we drop into a pile of quicksand as our ideas they seem like pipe dreams 
not because someone else has said anything but because our own internal complexes are shooting them down in the roots neptune is also collective belief and fears so sometimes those fears aren't even ours they have been collected from the surrounding from the collective because of bad housekeeping of our own mind and our surroundings neptune is also collective faith though and our own imagination we are never going to know for sure how things are going to pan out right now but if we keep moving forward despite our fears despite our doubts despite our hidden complexes we would discover the roads we have never seen before definitely we cannot see those roads from here where we standing right now we need to move forward to be able to see that but you do know one thing for sure and that's that you want your life to matter you want your words to have impact you do not want to stand where you are right now you need to move forward you need to grow you need your words and your skill sets to have an impact on the collective you want your creations to serve and inspire not just now but for time beyond you neptune has lit your soul in the last couple of years and it's showing you your own hidden talents strengths and desires and that process has been going on over years now since around 2011 this hard aspect that neptune is making right now to your go 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 mars is asking you to take a beat brief period of stopping and checking in with yourself because you're right now creating your reality with your thoughts and your mind it's asking you to take time to cultivate your ideas it's asking you to take a beat to figure out if that's the commercial reality that you're gunning for and this new commercial reality has to be on a base that's solid with inspiration so it can carry you forward that inspiration has to be from some something inside you and not from an external influence that inspiration has to be kosher it has to be coming from inside you and not from the fears of what's going on outside or the fears of others or of the collective the inspired creations cannot come from a mind without faith I'll repeat that inspired creations cannot come from a mind without faith we cannot inspire people from what we are creating when we ourselves don't have faith in what we are creating everlasting productions they don't come from a place of i you have a critical place in the universe you are a fire starter you motivate you lead by example you are a trail blazer you're not a follower by being in your true element by handling your boogie man within by being in your element while integrating the sensitivity the glam the charm the love for collective in your works and most importantly by having a higher purpose held right in front of your work why are you doing this what is the purpose what is the higher inspiration what is the motor behind this go 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 that's happening what is driving all of that having that held right in front of your work before any eye is key to success here filter your options with that kosher lens what would serve the collective best what are you here to channel and create once you have your inspiration in place a purpose in place motivation will come these are two different places motivation is physical inspiration is spiritual so once you have the inspiration in place a purpose in place motivation will come words will flow contracts opportunities connections will become easier listen to the signs to the hints like boulders that universe is dropping what's the path of least resistance over here the obvious thing for you to do which delivers you fully to the world we take a much much tougher route when we try to do things for ourselves without taking into consideration what we were sent here for what is the mission of greatest impact we were sent here for 
bringing your talents and strength out is not just for the benefit of you. It's not a selfish road. It is a road where you have to be a channel, where you have to be here for delivering something. The world would be less without it. It would be unfair to not show up, not say those words, not present your skills, not doing what you're here to do is unfair to the souls who weren't chosen to be born unlike you. Living fully is the cost of living. Living fully is the cost of living. Neptune is also glamour, camera, creativity. You're all that. And the element of that in your work is a must. You have to be boldly in front of your work. But it's also selfless love. The project you choose must draw that out of you. It should be flowing through you. It should not be a chore. It should too much practical makes Aries a dull sign, not our style, not our style. Keep it interesting. Keep it fresh. It, if it's snoozing you, it does not draw perfection out of you. It should not be snoozing you. Few options that aren't you would be getting dissolved this week and they will be indicated to you. It's essential before you new moon that we do some of that filtering out. And once those cobwebs are clear, there is no stopping you. We have a very, 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 I can't get into it, very powerful new moon in Aries that's happening on 11th or 12th of April. It's a beautiful new moon. It's coming with Venus, which is beneficial. It's coming with a positive aspect of Jupiter. It's coming with a positive aspect of Mars, your ruler. And to add a little bit of zing, Pluto, the underworld dog, <laughs> Dawn is standing stationary and it's aspecting that new moon with a harsh aspect. It's it, There are some complexes within you, something very powerful within you that is driving that new start. It, it, it's like you're not going to take no for an answer. It's like you have a will which is not ready to be bowed down anymore and that will is coming out. Um, in form of that new start but filter uh, what direction Mars is in Gemini is very scattered you've got to focus your attention this is what my 100% needs to go into this is kosher this is truly inspired this is truly what I want to do so when you have that option that uh, that chance to have you know when that stage is given to you to finally have a show time you're ready with it you are sure in your footing with it you don't have any doubts about it within yourself that you you you're going to deliver this you're ready for it so that's what we are doing right now and it's critical 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 it's mission critical good luck for that aries this is happening at 22 degree of um, of gemini making a positive aspect with you so you have access to this energy in a much, much easier fashion as compared to others. Um, 22 degree is usually uh, very, very impactful for those born around 12th of April born or having, uh, you know, your rising sun or moon around 22 degree of Aries, which is around 12th of April born, couple of days before and after. And then the solar eclipse that will happen, the new start that will happen in June is happening around 19 or 20 degree, very close to it. So around 10th of April, I would say the first two weeks of April, it, because it's Mars travels very really fast, would be working on it right now, definitely working on it very, very strongly and must, must sort out the motivation behind what you, what is the self-made wealth what is the skill set uh, wh why are you if there's something which is not inspiring you enough why maybe that's not that needs to be filtered out maybe th that's not your personal path maybe that's an acquired path somebody else was doing it so you thought it's a good idea maybe your mission is different so recognizing that changing that mindset we are immutable 
mindset right now mars is in mutable sign neptune is in mutable sign mutable changes direction there is a slight tweak that needs to be made and that realization comes with this aspect that clarity comes with this aspect so good luck for that aries and i'll see you in the next video now